Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought that I'd do my very first video um, on one of the blog posts that I've done and that is my most recent one and that's about climbing Crowpatrick. Some of you might have read it, some of you might not um, but I'm going to try and link it um, below in the description. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just have a kind of a talk about it. So it's about two weeks I think since I did it and it was never something that I've even dreamt of doing. Um, my other half had literally just turned around, here's an idea someone else had come up with and I was like, no. Uh, I was like, you can go off and I'll do something else and then I'll see you after but little did I know, I just didn't even think about how long it was going to actually take. Um, so the more I thought about it, the more I was like, this is a challenge and I like a challenge. And yeah, just, I just had to go for it. Um, so I did, <laughs> as you may have guessed. And some of you might not know that I was born with spina bifida and that has its challenges. I mean, not anything crazy. I mean, I have a, I have a weak back. And that can make certain things hard, but not really day to day life. I'm very lucky um, that I am so able bodied and that I, I can do the things that I do. And the other thing that I was thinking of was like, I've given birth and actually to a baby. I could surely climb a mountain. <laughs> but um, as much of a scaredy cat as I am, I was like, I'm just going to go go for it. Because being 30 is, you know, about taking these chances and living life to the full. So, yeah, I gave it a good bash and I made it. I made it to the top. And I'm honestly so proud of myself that I did. But, um, it was not easy. I mean, I would tell everyone to try it at least once, but it was tough. Um, I know there's some people that could just, like, run up and down and whatever. I don't know how to do it. But for me, it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Um, going up wasn't so bad. Um, it it was tough, but uh, I got through it. And especially when I got to the top, there's like a cone kind of shaped the top. I tried to remember not to look down because I'm also scared of heights. Um, but, you know, I was thinking to myself, you can do it. I just kept saying, you can do it. And... Because I've got a daughter, I want to show her that things are not impossible either, no matter who you are, um, or your ability. Um, and yeah, so I kept going and kept focused. I was very slow, but um, I made it to the top. Best feeling ever. I mean, like, it's just amazing. The amazing views you get, the amazing feeling of accomplishment, and then I had to get back down again. <laughs> that was a lot harder. I mean, especially when you're scared of heights and you're looking down and you're like, oh my god, like how am I going to ever get down? I'm going to live in this mountain forever. Or get, kind of get taken down by a helicopter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got help and I got down. Um, wrecked, bruised, I fell about seven times going down, but sure look, this is part of it. I was just lucky that I didn't fall up, going up, like, but, um, yeah, so we did the, um, did the climb, and I went back to the place we are staying and got changed and went out for a meal, and I tell you, that beer that I had, that first beer, it's just amazing. I think it's one of the best ones I've ever had. Um, just the feeling of I'm so sore, I'm so tired, but wow, this is deserved. Um, I would definitely say do it once, at least once. If you want to do it again, that's great. If you want to do it 10 times over, that I admire you. But um, just doing that, that once, it's like a bucket list thing for me. Um, and it's just something that I can now say that I've done it. I've actually done it. 
and I'm fairly proud of myself but I mean it's things like that that you decide yourself if you want to do it no one else is going to make you and no one else is going to stop you if you believe that you can do something just try it I mean if you don't succeed at least you try it like I wasn't going up that mountain thinking I'm going to get to the top because I have to I was like, I'm going to take it as it comes and if I feel like turning de turning around and going back down, that's okay. And I think when you don't put so much pressure on yourself to succeed at these things, there's a difference. I mean, <clears throat> I never want that sort of pressure on my daughter, like that she has to succeed at everything because she doesn't. I mean, there's far more important things in life such as life experience and you learn from everything around you so yeah so really <clears throat> that was the climb itself and it just I just want to give some people a bit of maybe if you could call it inspiration to do what you want I mean so many people will tell you don't do this don't do that or I wouldn't do that it's like well that's them Base your decisions on what you believe and what you think that you can achieve yourself and, you know, the world's your oyster, always. Um, so, I think I'll leave it at that now, guys. Um, so, I'll see you on the next one, I guess. Bye.